Alright, hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to our Minecraft Trains project where we are building train stations, also known as a pile of dirt. <laughs> hey Wesley, how do you feel about dirt today? <laughs> are you excited for dirt? So are we gonna pile... We're piling dirt up here. And uh, maybe the glass, I don't know if the glass should be like that close. Doesn't really matter, I guess. You said um, a skylight. I was thinking maybe we can have like a vertical window, like across here. So like, uh, <laughs> Wesley says I'm always excited for dirt. <laughs> Good. <laughs> thinking like a, you know, like a, a skylight that is like a, uh, a, a strip, a vertical strip that goes diagonal and up for the skylight. Just so that, you know, from this side, it's not just a mountain of dirt. Because I was thinking this thing is going to be so well camouflaged that you don't even know there's a train station there if we do it like this. <laughs> so if we put like a, a vertical strip of, of glass or something and then put some lights in it, then you can actually see there's a train station there under the uh, the pile of dirt. Because, you know, from this direction, there's the entrance. From the other two directions, there, there's the windows. But then from this direction, you don't see anything otherwise. Just so you can, like, see something. Anyway, let's continue piling dirt up, and then we'll see how the rest of this goes. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see, I'll put it like that around there. I'm not sure how this is going to go. Hmm. What if we like do that and then we do the rest of this? Like that. Uh, and then we diagonal out a little bit. Which, oh no, this is right, alright. I think this is gonna work. Diagonal makes this a little more time consuming. Hey Q, welcome back. We are <laughs> making a pile of dirt. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> it's it's just a pile of dirt. Uh, let me work on this diagonal here. So we're gonna come down this way. I don't know if you want to start thinking about the skylight. Don't make it look too artificial. Though. Well, but then it is it isn't it supposed to be kind of artificial? Like it's because I mean it is a building. Q says putting your architecture skills to good use. Oh, definitely Q, definitely. This is going to be the most beautiful pile of dirt. I mean, we're making it, we're covering it in grass, yes. But then it's still, it's still a building. So I don't know if it's, if artificial is an issue. Anyway, we, we can think about it. We can think about it. Also, where's the glass gonna go? Uh, 
Um. Hmm. Maybe like here. Let's find some glass blocks. And. Uh. I kind of want it like inset into the dirt. I'm not sure if that's a good idea though. Like if we one, two, three. Ah, uh, it's inset a little further than I imagined. So, how does this go then? Gonna have to have something supporting the glass. Probably gonna have a, uh, a border stone or concrete or something. Oops, put that back. Oh, I just realized this is going to be like that. No. And there. Skylight thing, I guess. Continues back a little bit, not sure where it ends. Maybe we should... Like, have Skylight over most of the train platform. Not sure. Not sure, actually. Um... I uh, don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't really know. How much of this should be glass? Maybe like that? Anyway, let's just uh, put the shapes in and then we'll think about it. We have to make sure we put sheep up here. <laughs> we need a few sheep grazing on the grass, on the roof. Good. Look how green this is. <laughs> it's so environmentally friendly. I was thinking there's not enough wind turbines in the world. Not enough wind turbines in New Zealand, that's for sure. We need wind turbines in, in Minecraft too, I feel like. I 
Are there a lot of wind turbines in Europe? Or is that just like a... A common misconception? There's quite a lot over here, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I have proof of wind turbines. Especially in Belgium, Netherlands. Alright. I think a lot in Germany too, right? Just need to get used to the idea of wind turbines. Well, that's kind of cool there. Not sure about this L shape, though. The L shape's a little bit strange. All right, so inside we gotta we gotta cover the inside as well, because we we're not just gonna have like a dirt interior. So what is holding it up? Usually there's white concrete. Do we white concrete again? White concrete seems to be the go-to material. I'm a little concerned with spamming it a little too much. But white concrete is a common answer. Or like hobbit, we did say hobbit houses, right? What if it's like cobblestone and wood? <laughs> Hold on, let me just look up hobbit houses. <laughs> hobbit houses on a image search. Oh, interesting. Adobe. There's like oh bricks and bricks and wood, cobblestone. Fascinating, and then like vines. Uh, maybe like clay or like terracotta. Plain white terracotta? Let me consider this. White terracotta looks like this. So it, it's kind of white, but it's off-white. I think we should consider white terracotta. Maybe we should frame this. Should we frame the entrance with white terracotta? Oh no, this should be circular. Hey, the entrance should be circular. Cobblestone. It does look a bit skin color-ish. Hold on, we're gonna make this a hobbit hole entrance. So, uh, excuse me, excuse me while I <laughs> while I turn this into a hobbit hole. Uh, maybe that's a little low. Go up one. Oops. Uh, maybe that's too high. Let me try that. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at this little hobbit hole shenanigans. <laughs> oh, maybe it should be, no, it should be one block high. Let me just extend this out by a block. Oops. Like this. We don't need this anymore. And maybe like put that there, that side. And then put that there, that side. <laughs> Hobbits and dirt. Uh, the glass is a little bit modern, but that's okay. We can deal with that. So we're gonna have a layer of this white stuff underneath. Let me just put a layer underneath the dirt. 
Might put some lights in the ceiling. It is skin colorish, but we're going for the organic look, I think, Wesley. Or I'm going for the organic look. I don't know what you. <laughs> I don't know if you have the same idea as me, but I'm going for like an organic look. Something that Frodo would approve of. Flowers. <laughs> Maybe we should have flowers. Oh, we should cover the. Oh, yeah, no, we should cover the top with flowers. <laughs> Not just any, but like all kinds of wildflowers. Yeah. We should also put vines, so it's a uh, it's greener. All right, so what do we do about the the rest of this ceiling here? Let's cover this up first. I think we need the layer of white terracotta to be like the whole interior. So where the interior starts and ends is a different question. So that's the the ceiling. I guess the station ends here. Uh, we need some consistency with the glass. The station ends. Like one block past. So shouldn't that be glass? Oh, wait a minute, what's going on out here? Are you trying to make it rounded and things? You know, we need to... Like, it can't just sit on, like, the dirt can't just... This is architecturally... But you can't just have glass... <laughs> dirt sitting on glass, it's not... It's not structurally sound. The engineer just called Wesley. Our engineer called and he says that you can't do this. <laughs> Hold on. So let's say we... I, I, yeah, the engineer is annoying, I know that. But... I think maybe like the outside edge does need to be architecture. On this side at least. So let me... Okay, let me... Uh, let me consider this. Probably not there. Uh, no, not like that. More like that. No, I think... I think on this side we can just have it... It doesn't have to be... Smooth and organic the whole way around. I think we should like pick a couple of sides to be smooth and organic, not every single side. <laughs> 